Hello everyone, a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back to our session of Daily Current Affairs. I hope you all are doing fine and your preparation for RBI Grade B Phase 2 examination is up to the mark. We have already shared with you all our timetable, a well thought out thorough timetable to make you, to help you utilize this time gap to the best of your capacity, to the full of your potential so that you do not waste any time and you do not waste any stone unturned in preparing for your phase two exam. As we all already know that the time is already very less and our main focus should be how to best optimally utilize this time across all the subjects ताकि हर हर सेक्शन में आपका स्कोर मैक्सिमाइज हो यू डोंट फॉल बैक आउट ऑन एंड लेटर ऑन यू डोंट हैव एनी रिग्रेट्स ऑन यू नो ऑन प्रिपरेशन एंड एफर्ट्स पुट इन फ्रॉम योर पार्ट एंड वी आर आल्सो हियर टू एंश्योर दैट यू पुट इन योर हंड्रेड परसेंट बेस्ट ओके सो डू एंश्योर दैट यू आर डिसिप्लिन एंड सिंसियर इनफ टू फॉलो द टाइम टेबल थरली we have also also shared the pdf of the same in our telegram channel you can go and have a look at it if you want you can take a screenshot of this here as well also download our app from google play store to get access to all the important study material and exam related notifications well on or ahead of time so let's just start with the very first mcq for today that is related to coal gasification target by 2030 what is coal gasification and why is it done coal gasification basically a process hota hai in which coal undergoes a high pressure it is blown with oxygen and water vapor and it undergoes a very high pressure to produce sine gas sine gas basically synthetic gas hoti hai sine gas is a synthetic form of a gas that produces carbon monoxide hydrogen carbon dioxide natural gas and water vapor so these are all the gases that combine to form sine gas okay coal is heated with oxygen and steam to produce it most importantly iska objective kya hai janna kyun coal gasification ka initiative liya hai because this package the government aims to increase it by 100 million tons by 2030 and this mission costs the government of india a whopping sum of rupees 4 lakh crore ab target itna important hai and amount bhi itna zyada hai so it is very important to also know that why the government is putting in all this investment and effort towards coal gasification bahut basic bahut basic or simple reasons ye hai that all the thermal power plants that exist in our country they have to follow certain norms regarding pollution control coal burning directly when we directly burn the coal it produces a lot of uh, emissions it produces a lot of flue gas and other emissions that are hard to trap so the thermal power plants have to undergo a lot of costing a lot of uh, operation uh, you know एफिशियंसी में काफी कॉम्प्रोमाइज करके बिकॉज एनवायरमेंट नॉर्म्स एंड प्रोटोकॉल्स को फॉलो करना ही होता है यू नो देन इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दोज एनवायरमेंट रेगुलेशन आर अट ऑफ अ चैलेंज फॉर दोज प्लांट्स अनदर अनदर रीजन इज कोल की ट्रांसपोर्ट कोल का ट्रांसपोर्ट इज वेरी एक्सपेंसिव एंड इट कॉजेज अ लॉट ऑफ वेस्टेज इन ट्रांसिट a lot of coal is wasted in transit when it is transported from the source of uh, where it is obtained to the thermal power plant other than that agar sine gas ko transport karte hain through well established pipeline infrastructure transportation of sine gas causes a lot of less wastage it is much more highly efficient and less expensive so it helps address also it also helps to address local pollution problems so transport of coal not only causes wastage but it it is also a very polluting industry and also uh, the efficiency of burning sine gas is much more higher than efficiency of burning coal coal produces a lot of by products by products zyada produce hote hain aur thermal power bahut kam produce hoti hai uske respect mein sine gas ki efficiency coal se kafi zyada much more higher than coal it is it, it the exhaust from heat uh, the exhaust heat from the gas turbine can be captured and can be used to generate steam for a steam turbine generation so coal gasification uh, 
के कुछ ड्रॉबैक्स ये है दैट इट इज मच मोर वाटर इंटेंसिव बट यू नो आई एम श्योर दैट कैन बी मैनेज बिकॉज थर्मल पावर प्लांट में जो एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस होती है यूजिंग कोल डायरेक्टली दैट ऑल्सो इज वेरी वाटर इंटेंसिव बट कोल गैसिफिकेशन हैज अ लॉट मोर इट्स अ लॉट मोर बेनिफिशियल देन डायरेक्टली यू नो डायरेक्ट बर्निंग ऑफ कोल सो दैट इज वाई दैट इज वाई डॉक्टर वी के सावर सारस्वत अ मेंबर ऑफ नीति आयोग के चेयरमैन के अंडर एक कमिटी स्टैब्लिश किया गया स्टेयरिंग कमिटी अंडर डॉक्टर वी के सारस्वत टू एनकरेज ग्रीन इनिशिएटिव इन कोल सेक्टर दैट इज ग्रीनिंग ऑफ थर्मल पावर प्लांट मेकिंग दैम मोर एफिशियंट इन देयर ऑपरेशन एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ एनवायरमेंट रेगुलेशन ओके सो द गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रोवाइडेड फॉर अ कंसेशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑन रेवेन्यू शेयर ऑफ कोल फॉर गैसिफिकेशन एंड ऑल्सो फॉर एनकरेजिंग क्लीन सोर्सेज ऑफ फ्यूल सो वी नाउ अंडरस्टैंड वाई कोल गैसिफिकेशन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इसका सिग्निफिकेंस क्या है एंड वाई वाई सच एन इम्पॉर्टेंट सच अज सम ऑफ अमाउंट इज चैनलाइज टू इम्प्लीमेंट कोल गैसिफिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजीज अक्रॉस द थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स इन द कंट्री ओके सो इसी के साथ साथ कोल लिक्विफैक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी में भी इन्वेस्ट किया जाता है जस्ट अ ब्रीफ ओवर व्यू ऑन वॉट कोल लिक्विफैक्शन इज जो साइन गैस प्रोड्यूस होती है दैट साइन गैस इज फर्दर मिक्स विद हाइड्रोजन एंड a liquefied form of sign gas is produced that liquefied form it can be an alternate route coal liquefaction yani ki jo clt technology hoti hai it serves as a very good alternative to diesel and gasoline it can save a lot on you know crude import and all that stuff okay <clears throat> so ye sare issues hain all these issues are there uh, i hope the concept was very very clear the objective uh, with which it was introduced was very clear so rto offices you all visit rto offices traditionally rto offices have been uh, very overcrowded under the table transactions middlemen agents long queues a long waiting time have been a tradition at rto offices in our country but during the time of pandemic all this faced a setback all this faced a setback a crowded office was obviously considered dangerous counterproductive and in the time of e governance in the time where digital india initiatives are being undertaken by the government the delhi government last year implemented faceless rto across its cities Uh, across the city, many RTO offices were converted to faceless technology. Just me, just the be beneficiaries hain who want to avail licenses and registration, they could they could do it from their home itself. Okay, so that was the faceless RTO uh, initiative first taken by the city of Delhi, and that initiative inspired many states across the country to take up to implement this faceless RTO. Or uh, Team, okay, so Karnataka government was one of the first few states to implement it. Now, now it is the government of Maharashtra. Government of Maharashtra ne bhi faceless regional transport offices launch kiye hain to help citizen avail facilities linked to the sector. Okay, so I hope you understand the objectives behind faceless RTO. <clears throat> okay. talking about e electronic initiatives another very important electronic initiative for the purpose of you know improving the ease of doing business in our country is the initiative taken by the government of punjab punjab government ne introduce kiya hai rupees 1 se leke rupees 19999 tak jitne bhi stamp paper ki value hai uska electronic version will be available at all the government offices and banks where the customers can download a print out or form of that stamp paper okay and it will abolish physical stamp paper to introduce e stamp paper to bring in efficiency efficiency check pilgrimage of the state government revenue so the e stamp paper initiative hai it will save approximately 35 crore to the revenues of the government of punjab तो स्टैम्प पेपर हमारी कंट्री में क्यों यूज होते हैं वेन वी वांट टू बाय अ लैंड और ट्रांसफर अ लॉन्ग टर्म एसेट 
या फिर फाइनेंशियल सिक्योरिटीज में आप इन्वेस्ट करते हो या कोई भी बिजनेस अंडरटेकिंग या इनिशिएटिव आप करते हो आपको स्टैम्प पेपर का रिक्वायरमेंट होता है एंड स्टैम्प पेपर में जनरेट होकर जितने भी रेवेन्यूज और रिसीट आते हैं दे आर कलेक्टेड बाय द लोकल गवर्नमेंट एंड द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ओके एंड ऑल्सो ईजी एक्सेस ऑफ स्टैम्प पेपर यू नो लेस करप्शन इन करप्ट प्रैक्टिस रिलेटेड टू स्टैम्प पेपर ऑल दीज फैक्टर्स All these small administrative factors are very, very important in boosting ease of doing business across the state. Okay, so इसी इसी को ध्यान में रखते हुए 2019 का जो finance bill आया that was introduced in the union budget, it aimed to amend the Stamps Act of 1899 to standardize all the stamp papers in our country, especially all the stamp papers that are used for transaction of financial securities. Okay, so this this is just one more initiative by the central government. ये सिर्फ highlight करने के लिए ये important है कि stamp paper क्यों important है हमारी country में और उसी के उसी के under Punjab government ने भी एक बहुत ही important initiative लिया है to introduce e stamp paper. Okay. <laughs> okay so moving on moving on to the next question moving on to the next question we have which state has received the highest allocation from the central government for railways kaun sa state ne railway uh, has received highest allocation ever it is the state government of west bengal abhi cyclone ampan ka relief package central government ne extend kiya to the state government of west bengal a relief package of rupees 3700 crore but also there was a committee or a gathering to uh, to, to celebrate or to observe garib kalyan sammelan program in behala city of west bengal or usi program mein the central government allocated a sum allocated a sum of rupees 10000 crore which is the highest highest level of allocation to any state government by the ministry of railways directly so this is important and isi ke sath sath the union ministry of road transport and highway you all know mr nitin gadkari and the railway minister mr uh, ashwini vaishnav they together launched the compendium for road over bridges in new delhi the compendium is nothing but a, a standardized drawing of all the railway infrastructure a standard standardized drawings of all the railway lines and railway infrastructure stations in our country that exists instead of 200 drawings and nothing there is nothing more about it yahi hai ye compendium ka objective so this was also launched maybe aap the question mein aa sakta hai ki ye kaun si ministry ne launch kiya to iska correct answer kya ho jayega ministry of road transport and highway and the union ministry of railway together have launched compendium for road over bridge okay Moving on to the next question. When was the first edition of UN Conference on Human Environment conducted? UN Conference on Human Environment is one of the most important conferences. Uh, Bertrand Commission आया था that talked about carrying capacity of the planet Earth. Human activities के ऊपर हमारे Earth पे हमारे environment पे nature पे क्या effect पड़ता है ecosystem services के बारे में बात करा तो सबसे पहले Bertrand Commission उसी से इंस्पायर होके यूनाइटेड नेशन कंडक्टेड यूनाइटेड नेशन कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन ह्यूमन एनवायरनमेंट इन द ईयर 1972 एंड इट विल बी सेलिब्रेटिंग 50 इयर्स दिस ईयर दिस ईयर इट विल बी 50 इयर्स फॉर 1972 ये कॉन्फ्रेंस हुआ कहां था द कॉन्फ्रेंस वाज हेल्ड एट स्टॉकहोम एंड दैट इज व्हाई दैट इज व्हाई दिस ईयर इंडिया एंड स्वीडन का जो जॉइंट इवेंट है दैट इज लीडरशिप फॉर इंडस्ट्री ट्रांजिशन they will conduct a stockholm plus 50 a healthy planet for prosperity for all of our responsibility it will be organized in sweden it will go it will host world environment day on june 5 of course har saal we observe world environment day on 5th of june sweden will be hosting that <coughs> the event coincided with 50th anniversary of UN conference of human environment we all already know and other countries that will be joining the event will be Japan and South Africa 
Okay. I hope this was interesting to learn about. Moving on to the next question. This question is related to RBI's annual report 2021-22. People in India prefer under rupees 100 denominations banknote mostly, while 200 are the least preferred. The question is asking you in value terms, the share of rupees 500 and 2000 banknotes together account for what percentage of total value of banknotes in circulation it is? 87.1 percentage of total value of banknotes in circulation. Okay, so yes, are aspects the RBI ke annual report I 2021-22 mein. Mostly, mostly uh, 100 denominations are the most preferred, 2000 are the least preferred. We have already seen it in the statement. And yes, the bank notes are currency ke upar RBI ka report baat nahi kar raha. It is also uh, talking about the economic growth prospects of our country, macroeconomic measures and fiscal policy measures kya kya appropriate hai at this time at the looming russian ukrainian crisis that is severely affecting our economy so but first let's see banknote survey of consumer ye jo hum log banknote ki baat kar rahe hain ye rbi ka ek data collect hota hai annual survey ka important part hai this banknote survey of consumer so according to this five Rupees 5 is the most preferred, rupee 1 is the least preferred coin, of course. The value and volume of banknote and circulations have also increased by 9.9 to 5 percent. Ye data important kyo hai? Ye data important is hai? Why? Because UPI transactions have been working uh, rigorously. There have been a, a huge increase in the frequency of UPI transaction for every transaction that takes place in our day-to-day -day life and that have uh, significantly replaced the banknotes in circulation. But despite that, despite that, the value and volume of banknote in circulation have increased by 9.5% in uh, and 5% respectively. So, yes, are kuch aspects to cover karne ke. Also talking about Counterfeiting of currencies, counterfeiting of fake Indian currency notes, jo hai, they have also increased. The rate of counterfeiting currency has increased. The banking sector detected 6.9% increase in counterfeit of currency, whereas RBI detected uh, around how much? RBI detected 6.9% RBI ne detect karat fake Indian currency, whereas the Indian banks detected 93.1%. So, agar counterfeiting ke instances or rates be bad hai, to fir the rate of detection or the frequency of detection by banks and RBI has also increased. <clears throat> so, rupees 500 uh, denomination of fake currency. Uh, yes, fake currency. Kaun si currency mein zyada fake currencies issue hoti hai. So 500 ke notes mein sabse zyada fake currency. But 2000 rupee ke note mein kam. That is 500 denomination ki fake currency have increased by 102%. But the frequency of fake currency in rupees 2000 bank notes have increased by 55%. So this was also a valuable information. Of course, of course, the annual report talks about other aspects as well. It talks about future growth. Future growth uh, will be, agar, RBI stressed that future growth will ke prospects improve honge if the government focuses on addressing supply side bottlenecks. That is monetary policy, inflation, in sub ko control karna, bohat important hai, aaj ke time pe. Okay. And also bank frauds ki agar baat kare jai, the report also talks about bank frauds. Bank frauds, they have increased in value in 2021-22, but they have halved in volume. They have increased in value, but they have halved in volume. The economic recovery ka rate bada hai, monetary policy, all that stuff, monetary policy, economic recovery, se related to the important measures are required by the RBI, they have also increased. <laughs> Inflation ko control karna is one of the key uh, objectives. 
and also the country's economy is relatively in a better place to recover on indian economy the rbi says that indian economy ke jo potential hai for recovery is much better with respect to other country and also it talks about gdp estimate uh, a very well uh, a thorough video on gdp estimates have already been covered by neha ma'am okay but since we are talking about the annual report by rbi let's have a look at once uh, look at what the report has to say the report reduced the gdp estimate for financial year 2022 23 by 60 basis points basis points i hope you all understand what it means pehle the projected gdp growth rate if it was 7.8% now it has been scaled down to 7.2% for the financial year uh, you know because of the current crisis that are severely affecting our economy so this was all about it so regarding uh, various aspects that were covered by the annual report of the rbi The logistics service sector Blue Dart has signed climate neutral now pledge by the UNFCC. UNFCC के साथ climate neutral now pledge sign किया है. Climate neutrality से क्या मतलब आप लोग समझते हो? Of course, we have already discussed a lot of times about climate neutrality in our earlier videos as well. So climate neutrality or net zero emission basically means जितना भी emission हम लोग produce कर रहे हैं. that is also offset by an equivalent amount of green initiatives like carbon sequestration so that will help in achieving climate neutrality now climate neutrality koi certification program nahi hai but it is a pledge under united nations framework for uh, climate change united nation convention framework for climate change okay aur blue dart ne blue dart ne abhi ye pledge sign kiya hai again i am repeating it is not a certification but a pledge pledge hai climate neutral now 2050 ke objective ko achieve karne ke liye jo ki paris agreement mein launch hua tha okay so it is basically a partnership program a partnership multi from business partnership capacity building प्रमोशन फैसिलिटीज कार्बन फुटप्रिंट्स को रिड्यूस करने में जितने भी इनिशिएटिव्स हैं उनको इंप्लीमेंट करने में हेल्प करता है क्लाइमेट न्यूट्रल नाउ इनिशिएटिव ओके यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट दिस लुक एट दिस पिक्चर बेसिक बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव इट स्टेट्स द बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ क्लाइमेट न्यूट्रल नाउ इनिशिएटिव दैट वुड बी इट विल मेजर द कार्बन फुटप्रिंट एंड रिपोर्ट इट then work towards initiative that reduce it and also contribute towards all the green initiatives or greening the industry okay yahan pe ye specifications hai sare this is the broad objective of climate neutral now related is the kya yaad rakhna it is implemented by unfcc along with partnership from various stakeholders that include national governments ngos international institutions sub national governments as well and also it is a pledge and not a certification scheme it is a pledge <clears throat> which of the following company has launched india's first benchmark index named great Great benchmark index कौन सी कंपनी ने लॉन्च किया है यू हैव ऑप्शन बिनांसे कॉइन बिटकॉइन कार्डनो एक्स आर पी एन कॉन स्विच लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द करेक्ट आंसर इंडिया लार्जेस्ट इन्वेस्टिंग एप कॉइन स्विच कॉइन स्विच ने क्रिप्टो रूपी इंडेक्स लॉन्च किया है इंडिया फर्स्ट बेंच मार्क इंडेक्स टू मेजर द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ रूपी बेस्ड क्रिप्टो मार्केट it will uh, it will track the performance of eight crypto assets that represent 85% of the total market capitalization per crypto traded in indian rupee <laughs> okay so market capitalization kya hota hai it is talking about it so we should know ki weighted market capitalization a technique hai uh, weighted market capitalization that will calculate the value of crypto rupee dominated crypto assets so basically a weighted index hota hai jo ki market value pe based hota hai 
and the amount will correspond to the total market capitalization ya fir access to the market or market cap so jo companies hai jinka market cap ya market share kam hai they will have less impact on the performance of the overall index so that is the basic thing about it you all know करेंसीज इसमें कौन कौन से इंक्लूड करी जाएंगी यू कैन रीड द नेम्स हियर एरिथेरियम बिटकॉइन रिपल कार्डानो सलोना पोलकाडॉट एंड डॉल ओके सो मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव व्हाट इज द जीडीपी फोरकास्ट फॉर इंडिया बाय एसबीआई इको रैप रिपोर्ट नाउ एसबीआई दैट इज द स्टेट बैंक ऑफ गवर्नमेंट स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया सॉरी इट इट पब्लिशेज eco rap report a monthly it is a monthly report eco rap means an overview on the economy economic overview pe ye ek monthly report hai which means har month hi publish hoti hai okay aur is month that is for the month of may 2022 eco rap report ka gdp forecast kitna hai 8.8 5.6 9.1 7.5 6.6 let's have a look at the correct answer here फाइनेंशियल ईयर 2022 का जीडीपी ग्रोथ रेट इज 8.7 परसेंट एंड जीडीपी ग्रोथ रेट एट 7.5 परसेंट इन 2022-23 ओके सो ये सारे एस्पेक्ट है इको रैप रिपोर्ट के नॉट मच डिटेल टू डिस्कस अबाउट इट एक्चुअली और बट यू शुड यू शुड गो थ्रू इट बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग होता है ये मेजर टॉपिक्स कवर करते हैं समटाइम्स दे विल कवर टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू फॉर्मलाइजेशन ऑफ द इकोनॉमी दे विल टॉक अबाउट फिजिकल पॉलिसी दे विल टॉक अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्शन सेक्टर एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर बहुत अच्छे अच्छे और वैल्यूएबल इंसाइट्स आपको मिल जाएंगे इको रैप रिपोर्ट में और इट विल हेल्प यू इन आंसरिंग सम क्वेश्चन इन योर ई एस आई एंड एफ एम कोर्सेज में भी but it will also help you build a better perspective a gen generally a better perspective and a very broad based overview bahut hi acha fruitful report hota hai aur ye sbi ka i think uh, economic research department har month har month ye eco rap report publish karta hai uh, other than economic survey jo ki government of india publish karta hai other than union budget this is one of a very enriching uh, document for a for a an overview for a fair overview on the state of indian economy monthly so that is that is quite good itself now last last question of the day is who has been appointed as director general of national informatics center national informatics center it was first uh, established in the year 1976 1976 में इसको पहले स्टैब्लिश किया गया था एंड इट वॉज इस्टैब्लिश बाई द फॉर्मर चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ऑफ इंडिया मिस्टर एन शेसागरी एन शेसागरी ने इसको सबसे पहले कमीशन किया था नेशनल इन्फॉर्मेटिक सेक्टर को इट इज़ अ वेरी ओल्ड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्नोलॉजी पार्टनर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया 1976 में इस्टेब्लिश हुआ था एंड नाउ इट ऑपरेट्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी हु हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड रिसेंटली बीन अपॉइंटेड एज इट्स डायरेक्टर जनरल सो द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर इज मिस्टर राजेश केरा हैज बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ नेशनल इंफॉर्मेटिक सेक्टर ओके इट इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी पार्टनर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इट डेवलप्स आई टी सिस्टम्स प्रोवाइड आई टी सी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड explore and advise use uh, on the use of emerging technology okay so this was it for today's session i hope this session was fruitful to all of you thank you so much for watching and see you in the next class tab tak ke liye take care bye bye keep studying and preparing sincerely